Hey, it's your Daily One update for Monday, November 22nd, 2010. Hey. I'm Frank Zavaldi. Hey. Hey, and I'm Scott Weber. And uh, we're in our new uh, temporary digs here. We're actually moving offices. Uh, we just found out this morning that we're moving across the street yeah. from uh, our mysterious location that I'm not going to reveal because I don't like stalkers. I do. It's, uh, what is it, 4th and 4th Street, right? Right. Downtown, yeah, yeah, it's, it's downtown it's city, the, s- city, state. <laughs> it's it's in downtown yeah. city. Yeah. So, uh, so stop by. Uh, you, you ruined it. They're gonna find us here in, in downtown city. Uh. But yeah, we thought uh, since uh, the place was being dismantled anyway, we'd move into a new, uh, more open area, and here we are. So we have a new place now, and then we'll have a new new place. Yes. Very soon. So please enjoy our temporary new digs. First story today. Uh, it's another happy birthday celebration for us. We love doing hey, this. Hey, birthdays. <laughs> Today, five years old, is the Xbox 360. It's like and, uh, uh, We lost our party hat, so he just gets a sombrero. I felt like it was only yesterday that I was buying a launch kit that soon red ringed on me. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, I got an Elite, which I think this is. And uh, <laughs> mine's, Actually, mine did break once, but it got fixed, and it's cool now. But yes, five years ago on this day, uh, the Xbox 360 launched in the United States. Uh, launch titles included Cameo, Elements of Power, Call of Duty 2, which was, I believe, the highest selling launch title for yeah. obvious reasons, Sorry. Project Gotham Racing 3, uh, and Perfect Dark Zero, among many others. Ooh, the controversial Perfect Dark Zero. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, five years strong, the Xbox 360. Um, it's, so. it's kind of interesting. This, I think this is the first time in console history that uh, a console has been on the shelves for five years with no sign of, of its of its next incarnation yeah. and yeah this new generation has that kind of flavor to it yep next box it all started with the 360 which was the first it's console of this current generation beat everybody by a year yeah which really helped out and it's microsoft is kind of aiming the connect as its next console which yep. is still within this console so uh happy birthday xbox 360. Wait, that, what, five years, it can, um, it can now get the regular Happy Meal toys rather than the baby Happy Meal right. toys? Right, you don't have to ask for the, uh, yeah. the child-proof ones that don't I, I think that's about all that comes with being five. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Oh, school. School? Elementary school. What, kindergarten? Kindergarten. Kindergarten was kindergarten. five? Yeah. Interesting. Well, we'll be dropping them off later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and as for... There's no way to segue this, but... <laughs> well, this um, is Xbox 360 related. Yeah, this is, it's related <laughs> because uh, the Xbox Live community is stomping down on swastikas. But why? They mean so much more. I'm a Buddhist, and I, I just like the, the very symbolic messages it sends mm-hmm. me. But, but no, damn, Hitler ruined everything. Yeah, uh, enforcement manager Steven Tudos is very adamant in his... Uh, zero tolerance policy. He's so adamant that he like wrote a personal blog post yeah. explaining why. Yeah, which is like the idiots. Any person out there with a reasonable thought process does not associate this with anything good, mm-hmm. which makes sense. Yep. And you really feel like anyone that's arguing this is just arguing for arguing's sake. Imagine that people on the internet arguing for argument's <gasps> sake. What kind of world are we living it's in? A bombshell. Damn. Truly a bombshell. Moving on, uh, I think. Are you done? Yeah, pretty All much. Right. <laughs> uh, it just means if if you want to make a swastika, don't do it on Xbox. Yeah. Do or it you're in, gone. in the privacy of your own home. Yes. And don't invite me over. With adult supervision. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we've got some further details on the first downloadable content for Fallout New Vegas. Uh, this was already announced. It's called Dead Money. And uh, money, money, money. Designer, senior designer Dead Chris money. Avalon wrote a bit about it in the new Bethesda newsletter. Uh, Dead Money will tell the story of the Sierra Madre Casino, which is kind of a hidden away uh, place that people haven't discovered yet. You know, it's obviously like the treasure of Sierra Madre. But yeah. It's a casino called Sierra Madre. Very mm-hmm. clever. Uh, this is a casino that was going to be extravagant and huge and was getting ready to open before the bombs fell. Mm. So is this inspired by anything true to life? Uh, by a real casino yeah. closing when the bombs fell? Well, I just mean like uh, maybe a p- 
clan casino or just like another big casino? I don't. I don't think so. I. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm from Las Vegas myself. I, I can't recall any casinos being ready to open and then not opening. And then the bombs fell. And then the bombs fell. Of course. <laughs> no, I think this is just a take on the treasure of the Sierra Madre, but it's, mm. it's a Sierra Madre casino and. Uh, it's it's still intact, Over. which will be neat to see, like an actual old casino still intact uh, mm -hmm. in the Fallout environment. Um, it works just like DLC in Fallout 3, meaning that when you buy it, it's just kind of added on to your existing campaign. So if you load up any save game that you have prior to the end game, um, you'll get a radio broadcast that'll, that'll kind of trigger the quest from you right, right. With, with Brother and Steel. And that is coming exclusively to the Xbox 360, at least for now, on Ooh. December 21st for 800 Microsoft points, or in Earth dollars, 10. I'm surprised we can see three comments on this printout, and not one of them is lambasting over the fact that there's no PS3 release. I would have expected. Well, that there's eight right comments away. total, and I'm sure there's sure people the arguing. Other right five. If, if you guys want to go argue on the internet about this, uh, go check out our story, log in, post an inflammatory we get, comment. We get it a week later. Ah, well, actually, you. the DLC has not been announced for anything else. I'm just assuming it will be <laughs> something not like gonna that. It's not going to be a week later. Rage about, <laughs> you know, they we, would rage against that yeah. also. But there's no there's no announcement yet, so Sucks. it might be 360 exclusive. That DLC. stinks on ice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and as for. Uh, the opposite end of the spectrum from good games to bad games. Uh -huh. uh, EA Sports executive admits that NBA Elite 11 was ultimately just going to be a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. uh, they were trying to sort of reinvent the, the basketball genre by introducing twin stick controls, which is a really similar to what Tiger Woods did with golf and what uh, yeah. NHL. They're trying to give you kind of like more control over your moves, Yeah, right? like more finite control. Fluidity yeah. and all that nonsense. But uh, ultimately what they uh, decided was, no, we shouldn't put this out. This isn't working. We invested all this time and money, but yeah. it's let's just cut our losses and not release this game because it's not going to be good. I mean, what's interesting to me is that the game was literally manufactured. Yeah, like their there decision to, out there. Yeah, their their decision to to cancel this game was after it was not only code complete but yeah. manufactured. They lost a lot of money. On yeah, this. and they even had a whole marketing scheme with NBA Jam. Yeah, they were they seemed set. They seemed like ready to put it out the door. But I mean, we knew we knew that the the, the cancellation was over quality concerns. But what's interesting to me is that he's just outright saying it was a bad game. Yeah, need to go back to it. And That's kind of unprecedented, almost. It is, and and it's also very, I'd say, impressive. I, I you know, hats off to EA for yeah. just admitting, you know, Cause you know not, not talking around it. It's like, look, the game was bad. We don't want to sell a bad game. So we yeah, it. that's so. what you want to hear from developers. Like, it gives you a little bit more faith in their next product. Damn right. So, good job, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Well. Good luck with the next one, I guess. <laughs> That's the best we can say. So that's it from us. Uh, is Tina back tomorrow? Do we know? Uh, I would assume so. All right. Um. So look forward to uh, Scott maybe not being in this chair tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> see right. you guys. Bye.